and director of the graduate school. This meeting is being live streamed, so know that other people who are not here will still see this or they will be able to see the recording on YouTube later. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna introduce our first candidate, Dr. Cheng Yao Lin. He is a professor in the School of Education. His primary area is math and STEM education. Uh, he also uh, works a lot with the elementary education program. So first he's gonna do his presentation. After that, we'll open the floor up to questions. Please be respectful and ask questions and give other people a chance. If there's some question you have that somehow you miss, then you can email the search committee because I'm on the search committee and we can either ask him later or try to provide that information in another venue. Otherwise, feel free and I'll let Dr. Lynn get started. All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Ching Yao Lin and I am the professor of uh, Mass Education in School of Education. And uh, I like to, uh, I graduated from University of Illinois at Business Champaign. And I'm currently the coordinator of elementary education program. All right, so now uh, let's uh, start with uh, uh, the next slide. I'd like to, let's see. Why am I applying for the associate dean position? All right. So I like to support to support SIU mission, to support a vice chancellor for research and graduate school dean, and to serve as a resource for deans, graduate faculty, department chairs, and director of graduate studies, and to enhance graduate enrollment and graduate student success to provide administrative uh, support to the graduate council, to support research innovations, faculty and student affairs, to strengthen research educational mission at the SIU, Southern Illinois University Carbondale, to support SIU's commitment to social justice in education at SS, Sussex and equity for all, and to support diversity, equity, and inclusion. Now here is uh, uh, my background uh, for qualify for this position. And I have a PhD from U of I, University of Illinois, Urbana, Champaign, Urbana. And then I am the coordinator of ed elementary education program of school education. And then also I'm a full, uh, a professor, tenure uh, professor at SIU. And uh, I, my research activity, you know, I, my interest is in teaching and learning uh, mathematics and web research, web-based research in mathematics education and use of technology, mathematics education, teaching and learning and research on uh, research teachers' com computational ability and mathematic teacher education. And also I have, I, I published some of the uh, journals, a peer review journal, and then also at a tier one journal, and also received some grants. And also I, I am, I have honor, I had, uh, I'm a full by US senior scholar program. And, and also uh, I'm also uh, received another full by specialty program. So I think that those, uh, when, I would uh, promote more Fulbright uh, program at SIU here if I uh, have this position. And, and uh, I am also the editor, uh, department editor of a National Council of Teachers Mathematics of uh, National Council of Teachers of uh, Mathematics Education. And uh, uh, and then order the journal for this and they're called Mathematic Teacher Learning and Teaching for PK PK to 12. And also elect as a, a, a serve as a board director of ICTM, you know, Council of Teacher Mathematics. So those are kind of a professional service uh, I've done in the past. So here is a kind of a pictures about me and uh, I was growing from a farm a rice farm, and when I was a child, and I had to pick up the eggs and 
you know, feed the chicken. So I woke up, uh, I had to walk, wake up early in the morning, like five o'clock in the morning. And, and then I think that uh, Gene is, uh, my Gene is uh, uh, working very hard because uh, I was scoring on a farm and uh, I'm a hardworking person. And, uh, and this is uh, the, another picture of, uh, I like to, uh, to teach in my, my undergraduate student. And this is another picture for my, when I was a, a Fulbright trip, and then I visited a graduate student, faculty, and then, and then uh, undergraduate student. So uh, that's, that was my Fulbright trip last, uh, last year. And then if you want to know more in your question, you can ask, you know, we can answer this. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to move on to my administration approach. My administration approach uh, for this position, I will be strategic, strategic. and uh, I will set a clear goal and develop a plan to achieve that. And this can help ensure that the school is moving the right direction and making progress toward uh, its objectives. And then the thinking, the, the second, you know, my approach is I would keep student and faculty first. And then everything I was thinking about my students, and my faculty, and I'll create a positive learning and working environment. And this can help improve student retention and graduate, graduation rate, rates, and while also promoting faculty satisfaction and retention. And I'm, I like to serve not to be served. So this position, I will serve for people. So I will focus on meeting the needs of student and faculty rather than pursuing my own self-interest. This can help recreate a culture of cooperation and a mutual respect, mutual respect. And then I, for my administration approach, and I like to do is, I would do everything, thinking about everything is positive. I create a cultural optimism, enthusiasm, and this can help boost the moral, inspire students and faculty to achieve their best. And the last one, I think uh, in my, uh, I would uh, be, be transparent. I will build trust, credibility with the student, faculty, stakeholders, and this can help improve uh, the communication and foster the sense of openness and accountability. So now, if you look at uh, the next slide, you know, my administration approach, I will connect with uh, our SIU strategic plan. So we have image in 20, 30, you know, uh, strategic plan. So my, uh, I will connect with this, and then also I will connect with us, our school, graduate school uh, mission. Now, what is our school, graduate school mission? SIU embrace a unique tradition of success and opportunity, inclusive excellence, include in innovation in research and creativity, and outstanding teaching focus on uh, nurturing student success. As a na national rank public research university and regional economic pillars, uh, we create uh, and then uh, exchange knowledge to share future leaders, improve our community, and transform lives. So here, you know, if you look at this, you know, our graduate mission, we are helping student excellence and in innovation. So I think that that's kind of things that I, I would uh, I will focus on and, and then helping pursue the excellence for this. So here is a strategic priority I can come up with to connect with the, the graduate school mission and, uh, and our SIU mission. I think the number one, I think uh, I was thinking about, you know, enhance the SIU carbon deal to status as a global recognized research intensive university for graduate education. The second one can think about, we wanna do uh, recruitment and retention. 
okay? And uh, and then next, I will think about we are gonna launch a new in demand on, on on campus and online graduate degree and certificate program. And next, I like to focus on the diversity, equity, and inclusion. And then another priority I can think about is uh, partnership and uh, community engagement. The next way I think about is uh, faculty, staff, development, and recognition. And also I wanna talk about the research scholarship and grant development. And finally, I will discuss the uh, fundraising and uh, alumni development, all right? So now, <clears throat> The first one priority I think about is, uh, you know, is a globally recognized research inten intensive university. So right now, I think the SIU, we are R2 university, research two. So if I have this role, I think that I, well, first of all, I would like to maintain SIU uh, from R2. Now we move into where we move into R1. Now what is the what is the criteria to R1? We must offer at least 20 research or scholarship based doctoral degree. And we need to spend at least five million on research each year. Okay. And then I think the SIU right now we are on the top tier of the R2, we are on the top tier on the R2. So I think we are close to R1. So we need just a little bit push, you know, and uh, I think that if we can have a 20 research, you know, program, doctoral research or scholarship based doctoral program degree, and we can, we have a, or if we have a spend at least a $5 million research each year, then we can make it. So I think that this is important, you know, if I, on this position, I will, I will uh, kind of uh, assessment, see where we are and how much we can go, right? And reach the, the, the I think the SIU, we are close to, you know, we did a big push and then we can move on to L1, all right? And why L1 is important? Because we talk about enrollment. If we have like R, R1, Status, people will more like likely to choose SIU for graduate school. Now, here is something I need to think about. I can I can come up with you know uh, for global recognized new uh, research in the, uh, research intensive university. Number one is excellence, right? So. Uh, to be recognized as a world-class research intensive university, a graduate school must strive for excellence in all aspects of its operations. And this includes recruiting the best faculty, students, researchers, and providing state-of-art facilities and equipment and cutting cutting edge research and then produces a high impact results. So, and next is collaboration. Collaboration between faculty, students, research across different disciplines and departments is crucial to success of a research intensive university. By working together, individuals can bring together different perspectives and then skill, which can lead to the groundbreaking discovery and then innovative uh, solution to complex problems. And then uh, innovation. Innovation is essential to, to success for a research intensive university. By fostering a culture of innovation, graduate school can uh, encourage faculty, students, and researchers to develop new ideas, technologies, and approaches that can, uh, can, that can drive progress and then create positive change. So overall, creating an environment that fosters excellence, Cooperation, innovation is essential to, to ensure that the graduate school become a global recognized research university. By prioritizing these values, graduate school can attract the 
retain top tier faculty student, research, researcher, conduct cutting edge research and make a meaningful in impact on society. Okay. And then next uh, I can think about is a recruitment, okay? First of all, I like to recruit a diverse body, all right? So this goal to attract a diverse pool of students from different background, culture, and perspective. And this include implementing target recruiting strategy, such as outreach to underrepresented group, provide financial assistance, and offering support for international students. And the next one is uh, recruiting is a welcome and an inclusive environment. So our in env environment it should be welcome, okay? And this goal is create a welcome, welcoming and inclusive environment and that support and value diversity. And this include implementing diversity, diversity and inclusion. Uh, and that will promote the culture, you know, uh, I mean, to, to support, like for instance, for, you know, we have, if we have more support for underrepresented group of people, you know, and then I think that they were willing to, uh, to re kind of register SIU. And then uh, the next thing that we wanna provide a support for student. So this is goal is uh, to provide resources to support for student, ensure they can succeed and their academic personal lives, and this including offering mentorship program, academic advising, mental health support, and then financial and resources. And then next, foster uh, stimulating and supporting academic environment. This goal is to uh, create a st stimulating and support academic environment, and that foster the intellectual curiosity, critical thinking, innovation. And this include op offering set of R facility, research resources, academic re program, and that encourage in interdisciplinary cooperation. And finally here is a, a cultivate a strong alumni network. The goal is to cultivate a strong alumni network that provide ongoing support, mentorship for current student and graduate student, graduates. And this include offer the, uh, offering the career uh, service networking opportunity and resources for long life learning and personnel, uh, personal development. Okay. Now, here is something I want to think about. When we have uh, a program and then we are thinking about recruitment and we think about the new program, I think that we need to keep a pulse on what students really want. When students, you know, come choose SIU, why? Why students further their education? Maybe they want to pursue their participation to advance their career. Maybe we want uh, to increase in their earning potential, right? And then the other thing, uh, question I think about is what student value most? It can successful job placement, a credit program, strong relationship with professor and mentor, and moderate tuition prices. So those are uh, kind of things you know we have to think about, you know. Why should a student choose SIU, right? Is a program, is a program uh, good for a student to choose this? So when we launch a new, you know, in-demand graduate degree or certificate program, we have to think about this. We have to think about, oh, meeting the market demand, there's a job, and we have to think about the job market is considered involving and then employer increasing seeking candidate with a specialized skill advanced degree. So therefore launching a new in demand graduate program can help meet the need of the job market and provide graduate with the skill they need to succeed in their choosing. And next, you know, uh, launch a new 
graduate program can help increase the enrollment and revenue for the graduate, graduate school. And then uh, and another way I'm thinking about uh, launching new in demand uh, graduate program, it enhance the reputation and our reputation and position, position itself as a leader in the emerging field. And this is the kind of uh, things you know for uh, we can think about you know uh, enhancing if you have a good reputation then people will, will choose SIU, okay? Then we have to think about uh, addressing uh, workforce shortage. What's the shortage? What's the current market is, right? In, in, the, in some industry, there are maybe shortage of qualified candidate with advanced degree. So, launch, you know, so we, when we launch in a new graduate program in this uh, area can help address a workforce shortage and provide a graduate with variable uh, career opportunity. And then the last one I can think about supporting economic de development, okay? So, uh, so I think so if we launch a new graduate program in area high demand and support economic development by providing employer with a pool of a qualified candidate who can contribute to the growth and success of local business industries. Okay. Now, here is the data I found. In connection, in connection with the launching new program, <clears throat> See, this is uh, the, the data I found from the US uh, Bureau of Labor of Statistics. In a, if it's a STEM area and non-STEM area, we can find the differences. You know, the STEM area, STEM job, it pay higher than non-STEM job. And a graduate degree, it pay higher than bachelor degree. So here is another, information I found from the web, you know, if we want to launch a new high demand, uh, uh, let's say we want to find a, a new program, then hmm, our student graduate, what happened? For, for instance, like in STEM area, if in STEM area, people go into uh, interview, they, they can find 1.4 jobs. Now, if this is non-STEM area, it's 4.9 um, employee people for every one job. So we have to do the, some kind of a survey and then for graduate school and then see what kind of program we need, okay? Next is diversity, equity, inclusion. I think uh, I would develop a strategic plan for outline and commitment to DEI and set a measurement goal, an objective, identify the strategy for achieving those goals. And the plan should involve input and, and all stakeholders, including students, faculty, staff, alumni, and community members. And then I think the, the next one is foster, foster uh, welcoming, inclusive uh, campus climates. So if we have a welcoming environment, then people will like, you know, they, they, could, they say, oh, SIU have very welcome to people from diversity. And then they would, and then we include the people, then they will choose SIU. Right. And next one is recruit and retain diverse student. I think so, uh, this is a one of the uh, things that we can think of uh, for graduate school. We have recruit uh, people from diverse background, including the uh, the, the international student or underrepresented the, uh, the student, something like that, right? And then we have to review the revisit the curriculum. So when we look at our curriculum, is it a diversity? We look at our curriculum is it equity or inclusion. So we have to think about this. This is a, uh, the goal I would I would do the I would do it and, 
and focus on uh, the, the revised uh, curriculum. And then implement inclusive admission practice. I think uh, for the admission practice, you know, the group should provide a support service for underrepresented student and, or, and also international student uh, for more academic success, right? This is a uh, uh, things we will we need to provide, and then provide uh, uh, the the support, and then with the full support, student will likely choose SIE. Research scholarship and grants development, and first of all, I was thinking about a, a research training and mentorship. The graduate students should receive a comprehensive research training and mentorship for experienced researcher and then faculty member. And this includes the guidance of a research uh, design, data collection analysis, and, and ethical consideration in research. And then uh, graduate student, next one, funding opportunity. Now, graduate students should have access to have a variety of funding opportunity to support their research activities such as grants, fellowship, and scholarship. And this include both internal and external funding resources. And next one, scholarly communication. And a graduate student should have encouraged to communicate their research findings through publication, presentation, and other uh, scholarly activity. And they should also have provide opportunity to develop their writing and present presentation skill. And collaborate, collaborative research. Graduate students should be encouraged to cooperate with other researchers, both within their own institution, beyond, and this help to extend their research and horizon, horizon foster uh, across this disciplinary uh, research. And then the other one, professional development is important. You know, graduate students should have the support in developing their professional skills, such as communication, leadership, teamwork. And they, they, they should also be provided with opportunity to in, engage with industry partner and work on real world project. All right, and faculty and step development and recognition, I think, uh, uh, Faculty and, and state development uh, program can provide sources of support for professor, mentor, enhance their uh, teaching skill, develop uh, effective mentoring strategy, and stay up to date with the latest research technology in their field. And next, you know, enhance collaboration with, and then inter, in, inter this disciplinary research. So uh, faculty uh, can perceive the cooperation. I mean, so they think the cooperation, you know, uh, um, among the faculty is important, okay? And then uh, increase the job satisfaction retention if we have a uh, good environment and we can keep this, the faculty, right? And then can, we can also can uh, improve our institutional reputation and once we have a uh, uh, strong research and then all have, uh, we have a strong culture of excellence. And we're looking for excellence because uh, this is uh, uh, the, the one we can help in our uh, university getting better. And partnership and community engagement, the strategic and I can think about co cooperate partner, partnership and uh, uh, here, I can think about graduate school should establish cooperative partnership with external organization, community to uh, co-create a research project and address real world problem. And then we have to uh, think about community, you know, community engagement, all right? So involve the provide a opportunity for graduate student to, to engage with a diverse community. And next one, innovation. All right, graduate school also need to support into the innovation through providing research and mentorship and a networking opportunity. And then the last one is a public uh, 
engagement and knowledge mobilization. So uh, graduate school, you know, if, in, I think so I, we would uh, uh, disseminate our research finding to the public. And then the last one I think uh, is uh, fundraising alumni development. So for fundraising, I think the, uh, building a strong relationship with alumni, I can think about. And I also develop a uh, target of fundraising campaign. And then where is a target campaign we can, we can focus on, we can do in you know, a campaign. And then uh, we have the uh, next one, securing a uh, major gift. Let's say, what's the uh, recent gift we have? And then we have to secure this major gift. And the next thing I can think about is uh, engaging cooperation and uh, foundation. So um, in this goal, you know, uh, engaging a, a cooperation foundation and, by, and we can support research, scholarship, community engagement initiative. So this will be here, uh, uh, the, we, have, we have to identify what's the potential partner development proposal and then and we can have, uh, uh, have their support. Finally, we can quickly create a culture of uh, uh, philosophy. And this is a kind of a giving back. I think so, you know, if we have a uh, chance for people to give it back to SIU, and then that would be uh, helpful for our graduate uh, uh, student and a faculty member. All right. So uh, now I think that about the time I can open up the questions for you to ask the questions. Do you have any questions? All right. Okay. Craig, can you? Sure. Um, okay. Thank, uh, thank you. And I apologize. I had to join uh, the meeting late because of a master's uh, defense. Uh, and my question for you has to do with what you think the role of uh, the person in your position would be for supporting work outside of STEM? Outside of STEM, okay. Thank you. I think, so. can I close this and then make sure I can see you guys here? <clears throat> Let's stop share, okay. I'll put my hand down to you. Okay, I'm not sure. Can you wait for me a minute? I'd like to close this. Yes, okay. All right. So outside of STEM and then to support the graduate school, first of all, I just give you the examples of the STEM. Uh, what's the uh, on-demand on demand, uh, the, the program, new program? Right, so we have to do a study and then finding out what is the current. We are in twenty twenty three now, so how about our program? If our program is starting like nineteen eighties, right? Is it and then and now we think about enrollment, but now look, we don't have if we don't have a provide a job market for the graduate student, will they register SIU? So outside of STEM, yes. I think that I will work with the uh, department chair or deans, and I I'm serving as what serving as a resources for the each department and the deans, and then give a provide information. See, okay, let's say uh, your department, you know, maybe you know, do an analysis. Maybe this is a kind of potential you can you can you can you can build up, right? 
For instance, like AI, AI is a, is a topic right now. Now, do we have AI program in SIU, right? This morning, I was talking to the dean of uh, uh, School of Medicine. And do we have AI for medicine? Do we have AI for school of business? Do we have AI, you know, those kind of things, right? So I think that we have to, in, in different area, different department, right? And, and, I, and for me, I like to serve as a coordinator and give you the resources. That's the, that's the position, you know, this down, this uh, on the job posting to serve as a resource, as a dean, graduate faculty, department chair, and director of a graduate studies. So therefore, I need to do some invest, survey investigation, provide information to you, right? So I think that is, that's the very important. And outside of STEM, yes, you know, we can work together and see what, what is the what is need for the graduate school in Thank your you. area. Yeah. What is your area? Uh, communication studies. Communication studies, yes. And then communication studies, you know, and we can see what's the in demand, you know, and what's the uh, we can look at uh, the the U US Department of Labor. See what kind of the job is uh, still for you in your area, right? And then I need to do some sort of provide information, provide the, the resources for you, and you can talk to your faculty members. See, can we launch a new program? Because if we have a new program, we can promote. Okay, this promo like a, uh, we recently we just launched a new program for the nurse, right? Because we know there's a need for for the the nurse. The huge need for nurse. So we create a, a, a nurse program. And because we based on the survey, based on the study, and then which is good, good uh, examples, you know, right now, you know, uh, our, our program is, you know, nurse program is pretty good, right? So I think that that's kind of things, you know, we can work together for this. Do we have, uh, am I answering your question? Yeah, thank you. Yes. Okay, someone, you can do the chat, you know, if you want to do, uh, okay. If you want to do the, the question, you know, you can, you can, you can do the checkbox and then I can, I can read it for you. Okay, do you have any other questions for this? <clears throat> I think so I, if I have a, this position and all, I think so I, I will be, I will serve not to be served, all right? I've been in SIU for 20 years. So I think that I know the history and background of it, uh, the, 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 the SIU here. So I think that I like to do my best to help this uh, university. Okay. Do you have any questions about my uh, presentation? Well, uh, if, yes. Is there any other question? Yeah, I'm just polling to see if anybody had any questions there, but in chat. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I was trying to leave some uh, time for Q&A because this is more interactive. Because uh, uh, you do the Zoom presentation is very different <laughs> from face to face. So, so I think so, uh, I, I, I like to have, uh, you know, actually, you know, I, I like to have sleep more time for people can ask questions for, uh, uh, for this.
if no questions, you know, I want to tell you what, I like to do hands-on activity, all right? So I bring some the flyers here. <laughs> There's some fire here. And here bring, I bring some fire here, okay? Then, because my son, he is in college. And then my daughter, she is in the uh, junior in high school. And oftentimes in my mailbox, I receive a lot of fire, <laughs> fire like this, right? Now look, this is a file from the university. Some of the file, maybe I will throw into trash. Some of the file, I will pay more attention, right? So now take a look. This is SIU. Okay. And now take a look. This is uh, uh, from Tulane University. It's just like an iPhone, all right? And I will pay, pay more attention. Because they say, hey, Jocelyn, have you checked out Tulane, Ur Tulane University yet? <laughs> so I would pay more attention instead of uh, uh, other flyer, okay? So this is a, you know, look. Oh, when I open it up, it's, it, it tell me about, give me the information about how many scholarships there and then more information about this university, right? So I think so to, uh, our uh, strategy to promote uh, the, the, to get our enrollment, we have to think about this. Every penny counts. I'm a math person, so every penny counts. Are we gonna pay the money to this and put on a trash can? Or are we gonna pay the money more effective? People will take a look and then pay, people will more, pay more attention to this, right? And then for, I'm, I'm not from, I'm, I'm not from, uh, I'm not from here. Why? Because 25 years ago, I was elementary teachers in Taiwan, 25 years ago. And I came to study about 25 years ago, could get a degree at a U of I. And by the time I, my, my, I cannot do any presentation English like this, 25 years ago. I only can read and write. So once I arrived in the U of I and then uh, become uh, a doctoral student and then uh, become a professor, right? And then I know, What's the student need? What's the international student need? Then after 25 years and staying in here, I know what's the domestic student need, right? So like a domestic student need, I think so I'm thinking about maybe they, a lot of students, for instance, like a, I am in the school education and all the students, they go to graduate, stu graduate school because they are a teacher, they wanna get a recertify or certify so they like a, something like a double dipping, right? Yeah. So the program need to think about something, oh, can we have like a double dipping? Can, can, can they, they can hear, right? But for international students, they are looking for what? They're looking for what's the, the, the job market. So the looking things are kind of a little bit different, right? But as a graduate student, uh, and then why they choose SIU, sometimes they might have a connection with a professor. My last meeting with a graduate student, and I asked them why they choose SIU. One student choose SIU because of professor, yes. The other person is a choose SIU because he grew up here in Harrisburg in local, right? It's a convenient location. So people choosing those SIU is some connection, might some have a connection with SIU, right? So in this position, I think that I cannot just stay in my office. I have to, I have to step off my office and then meet more people, you know, uh, sign in for international student. We need to sign up MOU because signing up MOU, that will help in the, the recruitment, right? And then, and then you can sign an MOU, you can let the people know where is SIU, okay? Who? So now I think uh, uh, there's a question from 
Basca, right? Can you give me a few example from past how you how you may have done those promote research? Okay. I think so. In the past, to promote the research you know, for graduate student, it's important for them to have a chance to do the presentation on campus first. So if I in this uh, position, I think uh, I will have a monthly you know, presentation for graduate student and also graduate faculty across campus, across the university. So everyone have a chance to share the different thoughts from, for instance, like from the college of medicine or a college of business or college of school, or school of education, they can share each other for, for, for their thoughts. And sometimes, you know, if we have a faculty member and has uh, uh, received the NSF funding, and I want to know how they got it, how they got this fund. And then they can share the, their, their successful, you know, story and to more people, right? So I think that uh, to promote research, number one, you know, it is it's kind of, uh, we share each other the, the, the thoughts and then do the presentation. And then, uh, and then the next is a, you know, encourage the faculty member to get uh, uh, funded. If they have a more funded, then we are close to, you know, R1 status. If we want to move on to R1, we need to have a more funded, like a five, I think it's a five million expenses at least, you know, for for each year, right? So I think the uh, encourage a, a, a professor to to write a proposal and then kind of have a monthly meeting, monthly presentation for the uh, faculty member and also monthly presentation for, for, for graduate students, right? And uh, am I answer you the questions for Basca? Yes, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have uh, any other questions? Okay. I think so. Uh, um, Looks like everybody's so quiet about this. <laughs> well, uh, SIU, you know, is a very, when we think about the, the program, right? And we think about all the, the program. Does anybody think about anything like a, SIU is a unique? What is the uniqueness of the SIU? Okay. I'm thinking about a uniqueness of the SIU. Every time if I uh, go overseas to present, and then people will ask me, where are you from? And I say, uh, from it's a Southern Illinois Carbondale. And then people ask me, you know, where is the Carbondale? And then I was, I would, uh, I would uh, give them the pictures of Carbondale and then, and then share them, you know, what's the uniqueness of uh, SIU. And then tell them we have uh, like, uh, actually, did you know that we have, uh, uh, we have, uh, like, uh, we have, uh, World class facility. For instance, we have uh, like uh, Olympic size 
swimming pool, and world class Morris Library, you know. And then I think that the, the, the swimming pool is exactly the same as uh, uh, Colorado Spring, like Olympic Training Center. A lot of people don't know this because we have a world class facility here. And then we should let people know, right? When we want to recruit the people, I think that that's the kind of things we can tell them. We have world class facility and world class faculty, you know, and an SIU here, right? And I think that uh, uh, sometimes, you know, if, if, if you want to uh, do the enrollment, get the increase your enrollment, it's better to, to do the presentation outside that people know. I think that that's the better way to do, okay? Is there any other questions people like to ask me? I'm not seeing any other come in here, so I think we're getting close to. I think yeah, I think we had you out to what three thirty today. Yeah, we have a three thirty today. Yeah, so you're getting you're getting pretty close there. So, yeah, thank you. Maybe I can take one more question. If anybody have a question, I can take one more question about my. Uh, if you can think about something, you know, I I can answer you. Uh, thank you so much for this presentation. I think you did an excellent job. I just had a question. Um, you know, SIU of today is not the same as, as 10, 20 years ago. We had way more faculty members and we had way more students. Mm -hmm. um, in order to increase research productivity from the graduate side, we would need to, like you said, hire quality research productive faculty members. What role do you see yourself play in Clearly, you don't necessarily have that employment or authorization. So mm. what role do you see yourself playing in encouraging the, the chancellor or deans um, or and departmental units to hire more faculty members? Well, thank you. And then I think so, uh, SIU uh, has a change a lot from the, the size is a huge, you know, getting smaller. Yes, of course. But the, I think that, the, uh, of course, I don't have, uh, in this role, I don't have a chance to hire any faculty member, but I my role can encourage, you know, faculty uh, to success. For instance, you know, what kind of uh, things that are for graduate student, the, the presentation or their you know, uh, faculty, presentation and then I can seek in some of the support for your uh, support your travel fund something like this and then uh, first of all I think that uh, I am the full bright scholar so I can promote I can some kind of helping with the community uh, to to produce more like a full brighter because a full bright society, we have a good strong connection, right? So I think that I can I can promote this in you know, full bright and then helping faculty member and then uh, helping students as a full brighter. And then once we have a more full brighter in this place, and I believe you know people sometimes a student in, enroll this university or faculty choose this university because oh. This is a place is a kind of full bright, you know, scholar has a lot, and also I think that they will choose here. And then uh, for for administration support, I think that I am a math person, so every penny counts. I will do my best to, to support faculty member or, or graduate students for their travel if they can, uh, uh, and then and also like. Uh, uh, can do the fundraising to help in uh, to get some money from the 
to help in graduate school. For instance, we have SIU day, but what about we have graduate student day or graduate school day, you know, for people to give him back, right? So I think that that's kind of things that, you know, we can think about. And uh, for faculty, you know, the reputation, you know, if we have a stronger research, you know, and then I think that has to work with the dean and then thinking about what's excellence here, you know, thinking about we are looking for excellence in the university. You now, uh, about two days ago, I was watching the CBS News, the interview Michelle Obama. And Michelle Obama, and it is, is she said that strive for excellence in everything you do. Strive for every excellence in everything you do. Yes, SIU, we need to strive for everything what we do. And this is very important, very important. We think about, don't look at it in the negative stuff. We don't want to look at all the negative stuff. We're look, look, looking for what? We're looking for excellence, right? And the, the, the culture, once we build out the culture is excellence. Well, when people choose the, 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 the job, they think about mm, SIU is a good place, it's excellence. So they will choose you. Amenka, can I answer your question? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. And then also, probably I have three minutes left. I wanna share you guys a story. Recently, I was uh, reading a book. This book called uh, The Coffee Bean, A Simple Lesson to Create Positive Change. Does anyone read this book before? And this book is uh, published by John Gordon and uh, Damon West. Damon West uh, was a called, uh, called a uh, football, football uh, quarterback but he involved, he involved with uh, some crime and then ended up the, the life sentence you know, to prison. And then the person told him, you know, in your prison, you, know, you need to think about this. A carrot, you, want, you don't wanna be a carrot and you don't wanna be a carrot in the boring water. And you don't want to be, uh, you don't you don't want to be an egg, an egg in the prison. You don't want to be. You want to be a coffee bean in the in 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 the hot hot boiling water, right? Why why not uh, Cairo? Because Cairo put in the hot boiling water with salt. What about egg? Egg put in the boiling water will get harder. What about coffee bean? You want to be a coffee bean. The coffee bean put in the water will change the environment. So here, I think the SIU here, we, I want to encourage everybody. Each one of us here, we want to be a coffee bean. We can change the environment. And we, we don't want to like uh, uh, people like, uh, you know, change it, change it. We can make a, the climates, make uh, the, the, the environment better and SIU can make it better if we, everybody be a coffee bean, right? Does that make sense? You know, I think that that's the, uh, that's the, the story I like to share you guys in the end and then encourage you, you know, I wanna be a coffee bean in this place. I don't wanna be a carrots. I wanna wanna be a, an egg. I wanna be a coffee bean. I'm not saying, you know, because if you have coffee bean, you kind of give a positive environment and you change the climates and you change the, the whole situation, right? But Carol, you can't. An egg, you can't, right? So I think that uh, my the final words is, I think that uh, if I in this position, I will help in people and then serving for people. Is there any questions? Thank you, thank you. So my time is uh, 3.30 is up, all right? Thank you for everyone uh, coming here to 